For those new to the channel, I am Stock Mo, an old financial advisor and educator. Now I do this YouTube thing. All I ever ask, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and join our community. We've got a good thing going over here. I remember back when we only had a few hundred. Ooh, what was that? August 2020 into September, and now we're up there close to 600,000. That is incredible, and I appreciate the support. Now, as we move into it, we have to take advantage of this. Make sure you do this. This is a good weekend for this. Sign up to Gemini. Get $7 in free Ethereum just for signing up. One of the best opportunities out there. It's the easiest 7 bucks you get, and you can take that. Ethereum, remember with Ethereum, you can stake it now. We know that the merge is coming. We're going to be talking about that today. But if you go ahead and use my link, you get $20 in free Bitcoin for trading $100 or more. So you're going to want to take advantage of that as soon as you can. Uh, now let's get into some of the, the news out there. And you can see this right here. And we can pull this up. Ethereum, could the merge finally end mining? And I will say this. Before we get into the best crypto to buy now, we are going to talk a little bit about the Ethereum merge news, the Ethereum merge date. What is going on? What do we know at this point? And how will this affect miners? I will tell you this. For those who do not know, I was in the mining industry way back in the day, and I was mining all kinds of different altcoins. I was a part of a, a, a mining crew, if you will, a community, and we all did our thing. All right. And the thing was, it was fun. It was over 10 years ago, around 10 years ago. Uh, I was even a part of day one mining of, of Dogecoin. That was back in December of 20 or 2013. And uh, we were able to, you know, just my computers, my miners were able to mine over 100 to 200,000 worth of Doge daily. Think about what that, you know, at one time, what was Doge up there? 40, 60 cents a piece range. I was getting 40 to 60,000 two almost times that by two in the beginning uh daily and i didn't know it at the time i was just mining it turning it into bitcoin and that's what i did with most of my altcoins uh and so i've been a part of that industry and i still got my miners sitting right next to me here in the office uh, i gotta tell you they are pretty much going to be obsolete if you're trying to mine ethereum and here's the thought on this once we get to the consensus layer and we have proof of stake we know that it is going to be paying out 7 to 12% most likely in that range for rewards. What they pay in rewards to miners for doing their work right now will go over to those who stake. And to me, that is huge. That's a great, uh, great improvement in terms of the cost of a miner. When I was mining, I would spend two, 3000 on a miner, mine for a year. And I remember at the end of one of the years, I looked and I thought, wow, you know what? It was difficult to even make a profit because the technology prices, the depreciation of the equipment, you couldn't even sell it and really get that much back out of it because new equipment was coming to mine quicker and uh, you know all these different kind of products out there to make it uh, better. But the problem is the older equipment became much more worthless. And so I lost a lot of money when it came to that. But the big cost was electricity. The electricity is what really got me out of the business. I didn't want to mine anymore at a certain point because if you mine during the winter, the heat kind of heated the house and you didn't, you could turn your heat all the way down and you save money that way. And what you would have paid in heat, now you you get, you mine, maybe you spend $400 a month on mining uh, on the electricity. And then the heat bill uh, would have been 400. Now you get it in Ethereum instead. So basically you were able to get some free heat during uh, December, January, February. But during the summer months, oh, the house would be 80, 90 degrees and you're trying to run the air conditioners. It just didn't make sense. So eventually I, I got out of the business. I, I, I went in, out, in, out. But uh, now if I did it, it would only be for fun uh, with no idea of, you know, no no goals of trying to, well, we're going to make a living at this because I know some places do. They got the top line of equipment. But for those mining Ethereum, once the merge comes, once we get to the consensus layer, that is going to be uh, that's going to be a dinosaur. And those who have the Ethereum and they stake the Ethereum, they will get the rewards and that will be the future. Now, those who mine will move to other altcoins. And I'm sure there are plenty out there that you can mine still and do your thing. But for Ethereum, that is taking the next step forward in terms of reducing the energy usage. And that's going to be big. And so we got the rewards coming in, probably seven to 12 percent of your staking. 
We got the deflationary pressures on there, which will push it down probably two to five percent. We'll see uh, annually. So there'll be that much less Ethereum after each year. And then, of course, on top of that, and we don't know how that's going to go with that whole less, less, less thing. I can't wait to see. But on top of that, uh, you just you got more utility coming out every day, more development and the usage argument is huge for Ethereum. I'm really excited about it. When's it going to happen? I actually think it's going to happen probably by the end of uh, June, maybe we'll find out. Some people are saying it could slip into Q3. I'm okay. As long as it gets done by 2022, this, this year is already going really, really quick. I would like to see it done at Q2, early Q3 at the latest, but these things take time. I want to make sure they get it right, but we'll find out when the Ethereum merge will happen sooner than later. I mean, it's been years already, so I know a lot of people out there expecting uh, to have it done uh, much, much sooner than we are right now. But I'm a very patient investor and I'm going to continue to load up on it. Now, with that being said, let's see what crypto out there did the best. What is the best crypto to buy? Well, based on last week, and we'll find out what it is. Ethereum's our benchmark. And as you can see with Ethereum, $43,379 right now. And it's had a good uh, 24 hours. Take a look. And we're going to look at a few things. One, we'll do the month. Then we're going to come back to the weeks, okay? Uh, 10% this month so far. We had a little bit of a down thing. And that's what I'm talking about. Uh, so actually, we'll do the weeks too. This week down 6%. Uh, today up almost 2 this month up 10. And so we'll do the we'll do the uh, one days to show you everything. Then we'll do the weeks and then we'll do it all. Just so you know. So 2% today. Ethereum right now rolling in about 1.87%. We see a lot of excitement for Ethereum. You know my opinion on it. I wear the hat to show you. We got some good things going on. And San, Sandbox, like I said to you before, Sandbox is my metaverse play. You can buy this over Gemini using that link down below. Very, very tempting because you can't buy it over at Coinbase, Robinhood, or Weeble. And once they add it on, I do expect this thing to have a good run. They usually say the Coinbase effect is a, about 90-something percent jump in the price. We'll see if that holds true. But I just like it anyways. I think it's a really good opportunity. And then, of course, we have uh, Decentraland, which is Mana. This is the other one I, I like as well. And so they're the two I have in there. There's a little bit of Axie Infinity as well. 0.93% up this today so far. So everything's green, looking good so far. Look at Cardano running up 3.45% over the last 24 hours. These are my DeFi space plays. Now, doesn't mean I'm going to hold on to the bitter end with all these. Uh, but I got to tell you, Solana is 4.27 running up nicely from those lows you can see what's going on there that's leading the pack and then of course shiba inu look at the run getting back up there point uh four zeros two five two two and we watch this and the, the question is will it drop a zero before it adds a zero and i still hold true to my shiba inu price prediction that we will drop a zero before we add one on we will have a run with the crypto again, and we'll need to take advantage of that. Dogecoin really running up 8%. Everything's starting to look really good. I mean, put the tie in. You got uh, Elon over Twitter, Elon helping out with Doge. You got a lot of things going on that I think the future could be bright. Let's go ahead and take a look and see which one had the best week or worst week. Dogecoin, I think, is going to lead it up 6% this week. Uh, Shiba Inu, uh, we got 5% down. Solana was down pretty bad, got hit pretty hard. 15%. Cardano down 9.5%. Axie Infinity, 22%. This might be our leader right there. Decentraland, 12% down. Sandbox, we got to pull this one up, 13% down. And Ethereum and Bitcoin, you always expect it not to be as much. 5.96 for Ethereum. And Bitcoin usually is not as bad, but it is this time, 6.77%. Uh, then I always tell people, when in doubt, zoom out. 10% up for the month. So we have a little bit of a pullback. That's fine. 26% uh, for Ethereum. Don't tell me people aren't excited about the merge. This thing's been rolling up nicely. I, I expect it to continue. Sandbox over the last month up 7.8. Take advantage of this down below. Like I said, you can get this over at Gemini. And I got that link to get $20 in free Bitcoin. And then the Central Land down 1%. Axie Infinity over the last month up 11%. Cardano over the last month, 32%. Finally came off those lows, came back up over a buck. Uh, Solana over the last month is doing, if I can click it, 39.84. It's been a great month for that one. 
So when you see that big sell-off, that screams opportunity for the long-term investor. 11.69 for Shiba. And Doge, I think, was the big dog here. 34.45%. Compare that to Ethereum again. Ethereum is very close, 26.95. And we know Ethereum has the future. So things are starting to look brighter. We're going to find out where things go at this particular moment. And I got to tell you, I think uh, those who are mining, like I said, I got my miners over here. I still want to be able to use them and eventually get them up and running, make some videos here, show you how that's done and have a little bit of fun with that because I have one of my uh, wallets actually connected to it. I have yet, even though I've been doing this for almost two years now with this um, uh, YouTube, I have not connected it back to see what is in there. I will have to make a video on that. Uh, whatever is in there, I don't expect it to be too much, but it is an old miner. This thing's like 10 years old. So uh, we'll find out what's left in there eventually. It's exciting. So I will ask you this. If you have any crypto out there, what cryptos do you own? Put it down in the comments to see what people own. And if you mine, what cryptos do you mine? Uh, I'm always curious to see if there's miners out there watching these videos and let me know what you do. Uh, I'm actually very, very interested in mine. I think it's an interesting uh, thing to do. I've done it, like I said, for a long time, but the costs were just crazy. So I, I'm curious because I haven't done it in a few years. What are you doing? What are you mining? I haven't, uh, and just share it with the community and what cryptos do you own down below? Now, like I said, take advantage of the Moomoo Moo link. You can get up to six free stocks right now, and they are worth a lot. You can get over 15,000 worth of free stocks hitting certain deposit levels and if the random number generators on your side. Take advantage of that link down below. And of course, if you haven't done the Gemini link, take advantage of that. Get yourself seven bucks of free Ethereum. Uh, or you can use the link. Uh, make sure you use the link down below to take advantage of this. You can get $20 in free Bitcoin just for trading $100 or more. I definitely recommend taking advantage of that. And the biggest thing you can do right now is absolutely come on over to the Patreon. We got that link down below. We got the crypto portfolio. A lot of big things going on that you can join up with. And you can come on over and see all of this of my buys and sells. I'm going to be buying a ton of stuff on Monday. So this is a good time to get over there, join up. Come part, be a part of our Discord and just shoot the breeze with the community. It's a great place to go and a positive place, more importantly. I appreciate you stopping by. Now let's get out there and make some money.